Youth Empowerment Support is a program under the Home Department of Central Tibetan Administration that works to realize the full potential and to empower the Tibetan unemployed youth by providing them with vocational education and making them self-reliant. To know more about the program, we have the Head of Youth Empowerment Support Section from Department of Home CTA, Thubdan Rinzala, joining with me in the studio. Thubdan Rinzala, touch delay and welcome to our show. Touch delay and thank you for having me. Thubdan Rinzala, like I have mentioned in the introduction, how um, Youth Empowerment Support, which is also called the YES program, is empowering the Tibetan unemployed youth and making them self-reliant. Can you tell us the programs of Youth Empowerment Support? How is CTA's home department taking the initiative in empowering the unemployed Tibetan youth? Uh, so the, the, our department, the Department of Home, has uh, instituted a separate desk uh, called Youth Empowerment Support, mm -hmm. which works towards the addressing uh, the issues of unemployment and uh, catering to the need and uh, the requirement of the school and college dropout. So through this uh, program, like we seek to make our Tibetan youth uh, independent and self-reliant through various ways in terms of like uh, providing skill training, uh, microcredit program, and providing right guidance, counseling, uh, and other necessary support like placements. So our program was initially launched as the PATME, which uh, stands for the Promotional uh, Agency for Micro Development of Micro Enterprise in the year uh, 1997 by the then uh, the Planning Council of the Central Tibetan Administration. So considering the like uh, the issues or uh, increasing number of uh, unemployed Tibetan youth and the nature of the program the department of home uh, undertook the uh, responsibility of the management of this program in the year 2003 mm -hmm. so since then our desk uh, has worked to like uh, changing the lives of uh, thousands of Tibetan okay so to the news like you have mentioned right now that uh, the yes program they have all these small small initiatives uh, not small i mean like they have many initiatives under yes department so like you have mentioned uh, there is this micro initiative can you tell us a little bit about that because i heard that you have a scholarship program too yes yes so we have a uh, few major program and few minor programs so let me run you through the five uh, major ongoing program mm -hmm. The first one is uh, the Japan Career Center, which we usually call uh, TCC, which is there at the McLeod Gunge. So uh, through Tibetan Career Center program, we provide uh, counseling and placement support. Mm -hmm. So in terms of counseling, we provide individual and group counseling, parental counseling, and uh, TCC also provides certified hairdressing training mm -hmm. and uh, computer courses like Photoshop, InDesign, uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop, uh, that too, mm -hmm. and uh, Illustrator, basic computer courses. Uh, TCC also uh, runs various programs uh, to motivate Tibetan youth and uh, to develop the employability skill of the Tibetan youth. Mm -hmm. And the second program that we have is um, Yes Skill Training Scholarship, which you mentioned uh, before, right? Mm -hmm. So this scholarship uh, works to like uh, provide the necessary financial support to those Tibetan unemployed mm -hmm. uh, youth uh, who seeks to pursue uh, any courses uh, from anywhere in India, from any training institute. Mm -hmm. And we do not have any uh, uh, education bar, uh, you know, to apply for this program, mm -hmm. and uh, the age uh, is also 18 to 45. So it opens a additional door to those uh, unemployed Tibetan youth who wants to become uh, self-reliant in their life. Mm -hmm. The third major program is um, microcredit program, uh, which I mentioned earlier, right? So this program provides an access to capital at a very low interest rate, mm -hmm. uh, which means like we provide financial assistance uh, to those Tibetan unemployed youth. Uh, who wants to start uh, a business or enterprise uh, in and around the uh, settlement. Mm -hmm. And after that, we uh, also have uh, this program called Youth Empowerment uh, Award, uh, which uh, recognizes two exemplary uh, Tibetan individuals every year who have become self-reliant after completing their training institute from any training institute in India, and who have not only become self-reliant, but also contributing uh, to the growth and the development of the community. So we recognize them at the official function of the Tibetan Democracy Day of the Central Tibetan Administration. And what is the purpose uh, of this recognition, of so presenting this award? So the, the main purpose of the, the recognizing these uh, two exemplary individuals is to encourage uh, the Tibetan youth uh, to pursue vocational education, to convey the message that they can also become a self-reliant through the vocational education. Yeah, so that's the main purpose. Mm -hmm. And the fifth major program is uh, Tibetan Private ITI, uh, so which is implemented uh, 
in collaboration with the Tibetan uh, Children's Village mm -hmm. uh, at the CLQ at their residential training facility. Mm -hmm. So over there we run uh, nine different major courses. So these courses are very long term, which has a minimum duration of the one and a half year. Apart from training, we also, we also provide uh, facili uh, facilities like uh, placement and internship. So these are the five main programs. So apart from that, we do have a few minor programs also, yeah. All right. So what facilities are provided in these programs and what academic credentials are required uh, by the Tibetan youth to be a part of YES programs? So facility in terms of uh, like at the Tibetan Career Center, we, uh, as I mentioned earlier, right, so we provide different uh, courses, not only courses, but we provide certified courses, which has the market acceptance and market recognition. Yeah. So apart from that, we also try to support the youth in terms of uh, giving them placement at the reputed, uh, reputed company mm -hmm. and uh, providing them with uh, the right exposure. Mm -hmm and uh, internship or, or support also based on the program so it varies like it depends like the age uh, cr uh, criteria right okay. so minimum age duration is 18 and for some program we have 18 to 35 18 to 45 18 to 55 so, so depending on the, pro the program oh, yeah depends upon the program so apart from uh, the yes program there are other programs too like envision and also ted debate on entrepreneurship development um Thubdan Lao, why do you think that all these programs, all these initiatives are important in the Tibetan community regarding employment? Mm -hmm. So uh, we feel like uh, to uh, develop any community or nation, mm -hmm. it is very important to uh, develop the potential of its workforce or its youth mm -hmm. and utilize the potential of its uh, workforce towards the development of the community. So likewise, in our community, being in exile, it is very important that we develop the potential of the, our youth, especially those uh, unemployed Tibetan youth, and utilize it towards the, uh, like the economic uh, development of the community. Yeah. So to the Nizula, like you have mentioned about the five programs. So how how do you plan on such initiatives? Like for instance, uh, recently there was this announcement for youth applicants for training programs. Like you have mentioned the industrial training institute. ITN program, in, yeah. Yeah, ITN program. So how do you plan that? Is it um, based on the need of the community or a demand from the Tibetan youth? So uh, we conduct uh, the need assessment uh, before uh, starting or initiating any program. These days, many of our programs are started after the, like need assessment. We invite uh, consultants, uh, professional, or this uh, retired city staff uh, to conduct uh, assessment. So uh, initiate new program based on the finding and the recommendation from the assessment report. Mm -hmm. So it completely depends. Uh, on the like uh, the requirement and the need of the community and especially uh, school dropout and college dropout in our case. Yeah. There is a stereotype about how working in the office is considered a standard job as compared to the skill related jobs that does not require offices. How is this seen in the Tibetan community? So uh, I feel that uh, even our community also has this uh, stereotype of looking down at the uh, vocational education. And our community is not an exception uh, because this uh, is a uh, prevalent issue in every com uh, most of the community where people prefer a uh, white collar job over the blue one. So based on our experience, we also have had many cases where like uh, the parents find it very hesitant to support their kids uh, who wants to pursue vocational education and kids are finding it difficult to get that support from their parent. Even though these courses and vocational education courses provide excellent uh, employment and business opportunities, uh, though they are looked down. Mm -hmm. So I feel that um, uh, things are changing. Uh, we are seeing an improvement in this field, but still like we need more awareness uh, uh, to provide to promote right mindset you know uh, towards the vocational education and we live in a world where like uh, formerly well paid uh, quote unquote uh, knowledge worker are easily replaceable yeah. and easily outsourced mm -hmm. whereas the uh, skilled profession like uh, carpenter um, hairdresser electrician so these are not even at this times uh, where like pandemic has affected economy very badly mm -hmm. we are seeing a huge demand for this uh, skilled profession uh, but this uh, prejudice still remains here. Yeah. Yeah. It's very true uh, to the Rizala that uh, that it's a high time for the people to change their mindset about the skilled professionals yeah. and uh, you know parents actually they should be really supportive I'm, and I'm really glad that uh, your team is creating awareness regarding this program.
Anyways, um, the, this program, um, the YES program, it was there it was there in existence for quite a long time, like you've mentioned, from 1997. And um, initially it was called Padme, and now it's called the YES program. So how successful is this project, and how has it benefited the Tibetan youth? We conduct a periodic survey uh, uh, to assess what our former trainees are currently doing, whether, uh, to assess whether they have really benefited from our program. I cannot say that our program has produced a 100% success rate, but we are proud to say that uh, we have been able to change the lives of, of, of hundreds of Tibetan youth and bring a positive difference in their life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I feel, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Thubdan and Zila, for giving us uh, more information about youth empowerment support, and thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.